you know, I see people on both sides making absolutist declarations that, oh no, Biden absolutely won. And then there's the Trumpists saying, no, no, Trump is going to be victorious once he does all this stuff with his legal team. And I'm just like, look, we're not going to know until after the 14th, okay? But something I've been continually seeing from Trumpists is, look at all the enthusiastic people in support of Trump. Look how many people showed up to his rallies. Trump had to have won. You're wrong. It has to be. Oh, Jessica. It has to be. No, this sort of thing is just proof that surface layer appearances don't really have much to do with how people actually vote. It doesn't matter how many people show up to a rally. It doesn't matter how enthusiastic some people are towards a candidate. I mean, this can be proven with who won the Democratic primaries. If things would have went based off of how the enthusiasm was and how many people showed up to rallies, Bernie Sanders would have won. But no, it's not about those things. It's about how people vote. I mean, one thing is for sure. If Trump is successful in delegitimizing millions of people's votes all over potentially tens of thousands of votes or even a hundred thousand votes, or if Trump pulls some strings to ensure that state legislatures will choose electors that will vote in his favor, or if Biden actually wins, like what would have normally happened, people have lost faith in our elections. Our faith that the government actually represents the people, and not just corporations, is dwindling. Even the most extreme revolutionists couldn't have possibly dreamed of meeting their goal of getting people to lose faith in the system. At least not like how Trump has in his recent decisions. Yes, I'm sure Trumpists out there, I'm sure that you think that if Trump doesn't win, that it's a rigged election. You know that it's a rigged election. Because look at all the enthusiastic people in support of Trump. Look how many people show up to his rallies. It's just not possible that Biden won. You're wrong. It has to be. Oh, Jessica. It has to be. At least according to your recollection of those things. You know, regardless of the fact that Biden didn't want to host super spreader events. But let me guess. It's a plandemic, not a pandemic. Yeah, how much fake news and conspiracies are you going to put weight into? Yep, everything is a conspiracy against Trump. The whole world is conspiring against Trump getting a second term, right? Well, I hate to break it to you Trumpists, but yes, it is quite possible that Biden actually won. And it's quite possible that you're not taking defeat very well. You're not taking the idea of Trump losing very well. No, no, it's impossible. It's impossible. You're wrong. Granted, if Trump uses underhanded ways of being victorious, you know, bypassing our elections, people aren't going to take very kindly to that either. It's kind of funny how so many people on the right are declaring that a democratically elected candidate is a stolen election. And then they turn around and support quite literally anything to reverse the results of that election, no matter how underhanded. Yep, the voting machines, the counting machines are socialist. They were used in socialist countries, and therefore those machines are socialist. Or the people running those machines are socialist. Because, you know, that sounds so much more rational than Democrats yelling, Russia, Russia, Russia! If Trump said that he alone has the right to declare who won the election, his sycophants and cult followers would go right along with him. Trump could have been projected to only get 75 electoral votes, and if Trump said that he won, his cult followers and sycophants would agree with him. And somehow, the rest of this country is supposed to look at this sort of thing in a positive way. 
as if these people, oh, they're just patriots. That's all. That's all they are. They're just patriots. Donald Trump is a real patriot. Was there election fraud? Certainly. Just like there was in the last election and the election before that. Was it Russia? I don't know. And I don't really care. I just know that Trump is willing to do quite literally anything to get another four years. He now knows what it's like to have that much power, and he's certainly not willing to give it up easily. I mean, if you want to call me a shill for mainstream media because I don't automatically agree with anything that Trump says, I mean, go ahead. I'm trying to prepare myself for whichever way this goes. I mean, I'll obviously be upset if Trump finds a way to steal the election. But I'll deal with it. I'll accept it. Having said that, I certainly can't say the same thing about most people on the left. We'll most definitely have rioting beyond anything we've ever seen if Trump steals the election. You know, especially if he does it in a way where he has his say in who the electors are. You know, if it ends up going completely against the people's vote. Yeah, people are going to be pretty pissed off. I just want there to be an answer instead of everything being in limbo. I, I can't really truly prepare myself for both scenarios simultaneously. It's driving me insane, and I'm sure that I am definitely not the only one who is being driven insane by this. You know, I had hoped that this would be a clean election, but seeing how things have turned out and what Trump's psychophants have been acting like, I don't think it would have mattered if it would have been a clean election. Trump would have claimed it's a fraudulent election no matter what, unless he won. Just like he said many months ago. You know, if he doesn't win, well, I guess it's fraud. You know, in his mind and in the mind of his psychophants, he can do no wrong. Everything he does is tremendous, is great, is perfect. Trump is infallible. So anything pointing out that he's not infallible is considered fake news. And his psychophants will repeat that over and over again, no matter how ridiculous they look. If Biden wins, Republicans will say, oh, this is the end of the republic, like they've been. And if Trump wins, Democrats will say that this is the end of democracy. This whole thing sucks. Ooh.